All right, action. Well, this is the uh, 10th of September, uh, 2016. And I have Al Podian uh, demonstrating how to set up a tent alone. He's laid the tent out as uh, he's uh, wanting to see it there. The, the bell is between the other two tents over there. And so he's noticed there's some, okay. So now he's putting in the other pole. Front is always the easy. front uh, is the easier one. And let me go over this again in case we he first of all um, did the um, we uh, put the. We put the, uh, the tent down like we wanted, where the bell, and the reason why I'm saying this, I think we lost a little bit of the beginning. So we got the two, um, the two corners, bell where we wanted it. He put the top uh, pole in and fed the uh, back with another pole, and you saw how he put the front pole in. Okay, so we're, and this is Alpodian, and this is the uh, 16th of September, 2016, or excuse me, the 10th of September, 2016. And he's now tying the front. The door closed. Now this is the part where we break the head. Okay, now he's going to do his best not to, and he did a wonderfully great job here so far, and he's inching them out. Let's see how he's inching the poles out and hopefully not going to break a pin but as I as I tried to say before before we lost the uh, we lost the uh, camera on this that uh, that you're using wooden dowels or wooden pins as opposed to you metal because they would the because they break the, uh, the holes. Holes. yes you'd rather break the little pins than the uh, than the poles okay, so now he's spreading the front out And note here how um, we've used some metal rings here. It's hard to, hard to see right there, but maybe on the next one he's going to we'll always go for the corners first. See a little metal ring that he's got. bell of the tent. Okay. All right. Now he's just more or less going to go inside, make sure his, make sure his poles are as straight as possible. You line the poles up with the edge of the door. Okay. Look like they're still leaning a little bit and he's straightening them out. Going to uh, adjust it. Looked like it might have been a little t too tight. Get that pole straight. Well, we want to straighten up this front pole. Straight enough. Okay. Lined up with the door. 
And the little uh, rings there are really a nice loop saver. If you're uh, that one's got a ring that fell fell off. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out a way how to. It would have been ideal to get a larger ring, and no. I found them. Basically, you want to make sure you have a good cloak hitch. Yeah. Well, they seem to want to loosen up for me, so I I got a really good deal on the, the smaller size, but uh, Okay. I'm getting my best size. Alright. <laughs> well, not yet. The crowning touch here. No pun intended. And what do those do? Help keep the uh, rain from going in? Okay. You can buy some balls at the rain. Drip off of the edge of the ball so that it doesn't run down. Into okay. The hole. Any tips now on taking it down? How you take it down? What would you do? <laughs> run into it. And that's the whole thing. Just do the reverse of what. Exactly the okay. And um, uh, basically, you do move the holes, remove all of the unnecessary stake, leaving the four corners, bring the poles over, then take out one side, lay it down, then you can take out the other side. Okay. The poles back. Okay, good. Well, with that, I think we've done it. And uh, unless there are any other any other tips, and you uh, of course you tie it. Okay, when you get ready, I may just ask you to verbally just go over what we just did, just to make sure we didn't um, forget anything. And I can always edit this, so. So. beautiful tent so we just basically brought our tent out uh, had it uh, unfolded it laid it out uh, more or less on the uh, for example the, the where we wanted the right side to be um, you put in the um, uh, well first of all you staked out the the corners on the right side then you put in the, the long pole and then started out with the uh, back pole with pin in it and then did the did the front pole, then you uh, kind of jimmied them up uh, slightly at an angle, but kind of self-supporting from the uh, from the uh, the pins over there. You did the uh, you did the left side, 
uh, maybe kept it a little loose then you straightened the poles uh, then you did the uh, re readjusted the, the left side then you did the the back and then you filled in with the uh, the uh, pins that were not on the various corners and then you tied her up is there anything I missed well perfect uh, sleep well <laughs> thanks so much appreciate it okay just a little tour of the various uh, tents here in second Virginia this is uh, the Cantini event or Cantinier or Cantigny as some folks who don't know how to pronounce it uh, French pronounce it uh, Cantinier but uh, this is our yeah and that's my stuff ready to go inside the tent uh, and we're just going to waltz right on through and we've got a good uh, it started out raining today so and not as many folks uh, around as we normally have there's a pineapple for hospitality you can sharpen the okay. And uh, maybe Al, I can. Are you gonna, are you going to have a table today or a demonstration? Yeah. Great. Well, well, we're going to get some spinning, and we're going to get maybe um, a weapons type display too. So. Thank you. And here's a couple other little things that come in handy. Here's a little hanger. It's an outside hanger you can get. Uh, put that back on. You can put your hang various things you can see what they're hanging over there pretty much without a holder here's one um, that you can especially handy inside just basically uses the leverage if you will I don't know if you can see that pretty well but the and then if you uh, already have uh, the, the time before you put up the tent, these are other little things that, uh, that will go over the pole. And here's one that uh, is a kind of a pinned type thing. This would maybe go on the inside uh, up here. And here's one of these dowels that I mentioned uh, before. That's uh, of course uh, some Madeira, I guess, uh, courtesy of... Uh, uh, George Washington, that's his favorite drink. He used to drink a pint of it a day, and it's 16 ounces. And, uh, and that was, uh, this is the, uh, the, the ring that I was talking to you about before. We adjusted the uh, tent pole that it's now straight. And uh, also too moved it in a little bit so that the straps uh, more or less work and everything's nice and uh, shielded, so thank you. Okay, the final uh, appearance here of the tent, so thank you.